creating an email campaign is extremely straightforward. First, come up with a catchy subject line. One way to make it more catchy, especially during the holiday season, is to include an emoji. Enter your brand's name so that people know who this email is coming from. Write a pre-header if you want to give a teaser of what the email is going to be about. And give the campaign a name if you want to for easier internal organization. Finally, for your most important announcements and craziest deals, take advantage of the campaign booster. It is going to resend your email to contacts who have not opened it within 48 hours with an alternative subject line. When not overused, it brings in an average of 30% of additional revenue on top of the initial campaign. The next step is going to take you to our wide selection of standard and themed templates. This is also where you're going to find your saved templates. More on that later. For now, browse through these to get some inspiration and select the one that you want to start with. Let's go with Stockholm. It's a new edition after all. Now here in the email editor that we've already looked at is where you are going to have to take over. Use your imagination and creativity and come up with engaging content that you yourself would love to receive. While we're talking about so many different strategies and segments and content blocks, none of that is going to impact how many sales your emails are driving as much as what you put inside of these content blocks. Don't forget about that design theme that we saved earlier when designing our automated messages. We can save time while increasing coherence by using it for our campaigns too. Finally, preview the result on both desktop and mobile and send a test email to yourself to confirm that it looks great. If it does, a good idea is to save this email as a template. This is going to save us so much time going forward because we will be able to start every new campaign from here instead of from ground zero. As you can see, it is now immediately available in the template selection step under Saved Templates. Now the next stage of sending our first campaign is to select who we're sending it to. This is where the segments from the previous video come into play. In case you didn't manage to import any engagement data of your contacts, or if you're simply starting from scratch, it is okay to send your first couple of campaigns to your entire audience. But immediately after that, you want to start sending to segments, your most engaged email subscribers and VIP clients for your first couple of days, and active email subscribers and recent buyers for the rest of your first week of sending. Exclude the inactive email subscribers segment, just to be safe, and gradually, over time, start sending to wider audiences. This careful approach doesn't take long at all, and it pays off in the long run with good deliverability and inbox placement. Now the final step before this campaign goes flying across the internet is to review and confirm everything and select to either send now or schedule for later. Be aware that the scheduling here is based on the time zone selected in your OmniSend account, not your customer's time zones. And finally, once everything's confirmed, click send now. Congratulations, you've just sent your first email campaign. And we're also pretty much done walking through the entire platform. Now, since this is your first campaign, there's a chance that it might be paused for campaign verification for up to 30 minutes. Nothing for you to worry about, it's done exclusively to protect your sender's reputation and ensure good deliverability of your campaign. So why not take this moment to celebrate? Go make yourself a cup of coffee, unwind, and by the time you're back, the campaign is going to be through and we are going to be ready to analyze our reports.